Hello, human dinosaurs! Yes, this is Lafo and Sora back for another episode of RimWorld! Yes, uh, not really just RimWorld. Today we're gonna be having a Dinosaur Gaming Night, which means that we're gonna be playing a various number of dinosaur games. So, I think we're gonna start off with RimWorld, since that's what we've been playing on our channel for a while now. Then I think we might move on to, uh, probably, uh, Carnivores, uh, because I haven't played that game in a while and I really need to kill all the dinosaurs. So we're probably going to play Carnivores, uh, RimWorld, and maybe Exoprimal or something else. I am debating on maybe going back to Paleopines. Uh, Arc Ascended is also a thing. I haven't played Arc Ascended in a while, but I know Scorch Earth has come out, and I really want to test that out. So, uh, yeah, so today we're going to be playing essentially like three or four dinosaur games today. So, yeah, because I decided... Like, today, I didn't know what was what we're gonna be playing today, so I decided just to play everything. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a while, uh, so yesterday, I think, uh, so yes, anyways, yes, hello, humans, dinosaurs, yes, today we're back for another episode of RimWorld, and it's been a while, uh, but I think I, I did play a bit off cam, and I made this, uh, so far, I have this little bit of a museum going on. There's nothing too important in there, just some uh, mammoth tusks and stuff that we got from killing wild dinos. And yo, yeah, our houses are here, we got our Spino, uh, Itali, she's still there. And, but there is, has been actually a giant dinosaur trader outside my base. Which I did actually trade with them, and the most important thing that we got here is, we have got eight Indoraptor eggs. Yes, they sold me, I think, like an Indoraptor egg for like a hundred silver a pop. So I just got eight of them. Um, I don't know if I I'll likely just have one of them, but I think once uh, once they hatch, we might butcher them. We might sell them again because an Indoraptor egg only costs a hundred silver. But I think an adult Indoraptor will cost me around seven, like two thousand or one thousand silver, I think. So, they're gonna hatch within a day, so I feel like we might be able to make some money off by simply hatching these eggs and reselling them to another trader, so... Uh, that is another plan that we have. Also, um... Yes, Mr. Giggles, uh, we don't have Mr. Giggles anymore. We sold him, actually, to a, a Orbital Trader. Because, uh, yes, by the way, yes, we have now access to Orbital Traders. I have a commission console here. And we sold Mr. G uh, we we sold I think was it Joker or Mr. Giggles? Uh, it was it was Mr. Giggles. Giggles, yeah. We sell sold Mr. Giggles because he had a brain uh gunshot wound, so he was not really doing so well because he had it. He took a shotgun to his brain, so yeah, he was halfway dead. So we just sold him. Unfortunately, I mean we could try to invest ourselves in uh silver uh not not silver in uh brain chips to fix his brain, but. Yeah, I mean, we already have a Giganotosaurus, and as I said, the only reason we had two was just in case one didn't make it to, uh, to adulthood, so... We did, so, yeah, one is now unnecessary, so... <laughs> Mr. Giggles is no more here, unfortunately, but we also got a shit ton of new dinos, so... Yeah, we have Aptonoths, uh, we got Stegosaurus, we have a Renoplos, we have a Velocidrome, uh... We also have an Olora Titan... Uh, we have a little Apolocanthus. We have two Titanuses, I think. Uh, one Woolly Stegosaurus. And uh, a Zalmoxis and a Kohulaceratops. And a Dilophosaurus. We also got Pachyrhinos, although I think I did that on stream. I'm not so sure. But yeah, we have these guys. Also, we have a Utah Raptor and a Deinonychus. So yeah, these are all the new pets that we have in our base. Uh, yeah, so also, the youth, the Deinonychus is called Biolante. Uh, I didn't make this name, by the way. He just was born with this name, so... Very weird. He, he, he was actually like a baby that crash-landed in the middle of our base. We didn't do anything, he just self-tamed. So, yeah, that, that's weird. But, yeah, that, that's something that happened. Uh, room will be like that. So, I literally have a free Deinonychus that I just... Li it literally got sky-dropped. So, yeah, there's that. So, we have a couple dinosaurs. I've been producing more and more armor for our dinosaurs as well. In fact, I think we had got a couple new people. So, which ones were the people that we got? I think, an, yeah, G Missy is the one that we got. That we, yeah, this is the one that I recently got. So, she is another colonist that I got uh, from a raid. We kidnapped her from a raid. And, yeah, she is now ours because she has a crazy 
good uh, stats in crafting. So there's that, uh, which is another crafter. I think we have another crafter. Yeah, Lessim is also a crafter, which is now in 17. So yeah, we have two great crafters, which will make dinosaur armor for us. And I think a lot of the dinosaurs already start having armor. So yep, four, four pieces of armor is by Bayalanti, like the flower kaiju. Yes, I didn't name it. He just, yeah. Uh, I think the dinosaur mod sometimes gives these dinosaurs kaiju names. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, so... So, I think for usually a full set of dinosaur armor is a 5 armor, I think. So, uh, we have a helmet, a scarf, clothes, and body armor. So, that is 4. And I think with shield belt, 5 armor pieces is the maximum amount of armor that a dinosaur can wear. So, I'm trying to give a 5 pieces of armor to every single dinosaur. Oh yeah, we also have a Brachiosaurus named Brachydios now. Yes. <laughs> uh, one one Brachiosaurus strolled into our uh, zone, so we tamed it. Uh, we also have a Thalassodromius. We can't, you, you probably realize that. But yeah, we have a lot of dinosaurs now. We have like a shit ton of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, dinosaurs. Uh, like, I didn't even notice how big the pen, like our co uh, collection was becoming. But yeah, before we know it, we have like... A billion of them, and this is just like a 10% of them, so... How- I think we need like- like a 200 more dinosaurs in our base before we can take the spaceship, so... Yeah! <laughs> that is why I said like, it, nothing special happened, uh, what- meanwhile, while we were doing this, we still haven't uh, gone ahead and kidnapped the tribal people that can make the... Super Neuro Analyzer, I think, that can, uh, reduce sleep, I think. We still haven't made that. Uh, you should pr someday newer Killer Instinct and play the Riptor story mode since it's technically a dinosaur story, cyborg hybrid. What is Killer Instinct? Uh, what is Killer Instinct? Wait, what, what is that? What are you talking about, Woods? It's been a while since you've been on stream too, um... But yeah, welcome back, Killer Instinct. It's a series. What is this game? Killer Instinct? Oh, what is this? Is it like a fighter game? This is for PC. Oh, is it? Is it that? Is it like that fighter game with the raptor? The fighter game, fighting game. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen this this guy on Facebook. I've, I've seen, the, like, a, uh, this guy fighting on, like, Facebook, and I was like, Hey, wait, there's, there's a dinosaur fighting game? Yeah, I remember this on the back of my head. Uh, I didn't know it was free, though. We might play this. But, yeah, don't expect me to play fighting games, like, online mode, since I cannot play fighting games for the love of God. <laughs> It's just something that I, I'm physically incapable of. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I, I do I do think that is true. So So let's see what else we have. Uh the trader caravan left. So Indoraptor egg. We have also another Quetzal egg. We also have a Quetzal egg and Indoraptor egg. Right, cargo pods. What do we get? Dodo eggs? Ah, oh, but they're unfertilized. God damn it. <laughs> it's a shame they weren't fertilized. Then we'd have a farm of dodos too. So we also- I also made a geothermal generator, uh, a little bit of a rec room. I, I did play this game for like three, four hours yesterday, so I think that's why I have a bit of progress, but I mean, if you look at it from the- from- from a far away bird's eye view or pterosaur's eyes view. Not not much has changed, I think. <laughs> he had to play Walking Sims for money. He has lost skills to play in any other game genres. <laughs> I mean, I did get some brain damage from that, I think. But I think I can handle it. <laughs> Psychic draw medium. Okay, that's not good. So, let's, we still need to make one plate armor for our beetle, right? I don't think, yeah, this guy doesn't have armor, right? 
So Kuliaku has armor, the Dilophosaurus has armor. Yeah, the Spinosaurus is fully equipped now. Chomp is nearly fully equipped. Uh, Zalmoxi still needs his uh, helmet. And clothes too. Oh, we finished training Kuhula Ceratops. I think I'm gonna put this guy into the uh, attack uh, animal. Into our attack beast. So yellow are the ones that are gonna be guarding our base. Red are the ones that we're gonna be using to actively go around and like attack people with. Alright, so what should I name you? I think we named uh Spirit. Spirit the Kuhula Ceratops. Darcy, Jova, Roxanne, Nonna, Lilith, Lacey, Anfisia, Abby, Heidi. Yeah, Heidi. Hey, Heidi is a good name. <laughs> I think we had a uh, Kuhula Sertos named something before. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like these guys... Sh I don't want these people to keep start eating in the in this table. Like I know it's the closest table that there is, but we have a really impressive like dining room right here. You don't have to go. But I don't want to get rid of this because it looks so nice too. <laughs> It's a little table in the middle of nowhere. It's like a picnic table. I, w I want the picnic table on our base. But at the same time, I won't be able to get the eating buff. Like, and then you go ahead and into the, uh, into the lounge, into this, into the lounge and play anyways, which is already a storeroom that is impressive. <laughs> I guess it, maybe it's because it's not considered a dining room. I don't know. <laughs> we have Boyolanti, uh... Kailu the weed consumer. Okay, we will name it Kailu then. Kailu. Right. So has anyone here watched the Ark uh animation yet? I know like I don't think I, I I don't think I can watch it right now, considering like I live in South Korea, so I don't think it's out here yet. Although I think I can watch it from like, you know, other darker methods. <laughs> I think that is possible. Yeah, Velocidrome. So is it good? I I, I really want to get back into Ark, but I, there's a couple videos that I still haven't uploaded yet. That's why I'm holding off from playing the game anymore, but it's it's almost there. I think I edited like three out of the four videos that I need to upload. So we are almost done with Ark. Uh, videos. Video-wise, we should be able to... Like, I don't think we'll... I think we'll go easy on the mutations this time. Considering that, like, I made it so that the boss battles aren't required to have super dinos. Since I can have up to 50 dinos, so instead of having 20 fully mutated dinosaurs, I can just have, like, 50, like, decently mutated ones. There's no possible day, n way I would let a dino have a normal dino, and don't name them. Something like El Smelvin the End of All, or the Duke the Slayer of Gods. <laughs> oh yeah, also, we need to name uh, Missy something. Uh, what should I name Missy? Uh, something with M. What is a dinosaur that starts with an M? M. Mutaborosaurus? I guess Mutaborosaurus? <laughs> Weird name, but yeah, I mean, this this, this girl's name Mutabora now. <laughs> what a beautiful name. So she is a machine collector. Right, straight out of Horizons you're done, I suppose. She really distrusts men. Wow, okay, that's why. Wow, okay. She really hates them, huh? <laughs> Minmi. Oh, yeah, Minmi is a much cooler name. Right, we'll, we'll have Minmi next time. <laughs> Minmi is a much cool, a uh, much cuter, simple name. But no, I had to go with Motabara. <laughs> I, you can already see my, my, my level of talent when it comes to naming right here. 
Like, of all the things you could have named, you had to go for freaking Mutabura. So right now, before, so we are still trying to look for that relic, and we are, like, the Worshipful Village. This is probably the most important quest here. Because, not because of the information about the Tricera lands, it's because these faction people are from a faction called, uh... Yeah, they are from the Bannam Pact. So, the Bannam Pact is actually the only, uh, machine academy, so machine worshippers that are in this world. So this is the only clan that worships machines in this entire world. And that's kind of important for us considering that our ideology in uh has uh can make likes to use sleep accelerators, which are really cool machines that it will reduce the amount of sleep that one pe one person needs. However, we still can't build them because we don't actually have the machine uh we don't have the transhumanist role. So we need to kidnap someone that has a transhumanist role and have them build the machine. That is why we need uh, a machine uh, worshipper in our village. And since we cannot get them by any other means, we have to kidnap them from that one village. And that one village only. So, yeah, that's why our stakes are kind of high. So, I've been, I've been trying to grind up on these uh, spears. These psychic shock lances. So, these essentially just put the whatever the... the creature, dinosaur, human into a coma. So, if we have psychic shock lances, we can just shock all the villagers and just kidnap them. <laughs> Hence why we have all these, like, uh, prison, uh, prisons all, all around our base front right now. We also have a bionic animal spine, which we will probably implant to another dinosaur. Uh, so, yeah. Punch already has a animal brain implant. Uh, <laughs> Virgin robot fans versus a chat trial by the enjoyers. Exactly. Uh, what's, let's see. So, what health? Yeah, your brain has been damaged by a permanent gunshot injury. So, yeah, we need some brain chips for Sue because she can only think half. So, she's already lost half of her brain. It's crazy how these Rimworld people can just snipe these dinosaurs' brains considering the dinosaurs aren't really known to have, like, large brains. <laughs> Like, how unlucky do you have to be to get, like, brain... Like, every single other creature that we have has, like, a brain damage. Like, what are my chances of that happening? So, I think... I think we're gonna give Stu a bionic spine. So, by the way, yes, if you've, in one, if you've been wondering, Itali does now actually have a bionic spine. So, she no longer has a bad back. We healed her. You healed her back. More like ripped her vertebra out and replaced it with machinery, but... <laughs> I mean, that's one way of fixing it, I guess, right? Uh, oh, we, the Indoraptor hatched. Oh my god! <laughs> Look how many Indoraptors we have! So many Indoraptors! <laughs> so many! Okay, where do we put them? Uh, let's all put them in the snail pen, which is technically not even, a, uh, which is no longer the snail pen, considering we, this is the snail pen now. So it's just the side pen that we have up here, uh, with the turtle, so. So I think, I don't know, uh, we might, so, yeah, they are babies, so I don't think they're gonna butcher, if I butcher them, I don't think they're gonna have a lot of meat. So we might have a male and a female Indoraptor. Life is beautiful, indeed. Life finds a way. We have an army of Indoraptors. <laughs> I wonder how much they're worth. How much are you worth? Uh, 2,000. Yes, 2,000. So, yeah, I can sell them now to get a 900 silver profit. So, it depends on... So, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll see... Uh. Yeah, we will wait a few days until we learn of its personality, and then I think we'll pick the Indoraptor pad that has the best personality. I think it should be intense. Show me, Doog the Slayer of Gods. Uh, wait, who was Doog again? Uh, I don't think we sell, so wait, uh, Doog. Who 
Who's Doog again? Nope, Doog Slayer of Gods is right here. <laughs> Doog the Slayer of Gods is right here. He's been amazing, by the way. He's, uh, him and Justin, those two snails, they've been probably been responsible for making half of all the dinosaur armor in our base. The snail glass is really crazy. I, I kid you not. One of, one of the best creatures in the game. Because you essentially get free, like, a min uh, metals constantly, so... Yeah, there's no way I'm selling Justin and Doog, right? I'm actually looking for more snails. You can't have more. You can't have too little snail. They're just too good to pass up. All right, let's operate on Sue. All right. Okay, medical level sixteen, and Sue now has a bionic animal spine. And also, her left eye has a Hypsilophodon teeth bite scar. How the hell did a Hypsilophodon bite a T-Rex's head? <laughs> that must have been a very crazy Hypsilophodon. <laughs> he jumped all the way, like freaking uh, Slayer, uh, Titan Slayer style. <laughs> and just bit its eye out. Okay, so we need a stockpile zone up here. And copy the paste. Instead, you will be critical. Your armor requirement will be important. So, every the next armor pieces that we make will be delivered up here. Because up here is where we need where we have two animals that need some armor. Hipsy the giant slayer. Yeah, but turns out the guy who got who, the one who got slight was the hipsy, not not Sue. Sue only got away with a scar. But that is going to be annoying for quite some time until we get animal bionics. What is this? We also have a bionic animal arm. I think those might be good if we, uh... We might give a bionic arm to Zalmoxes. You know, having like a... Make it like a punching dino. <laughs> bionic animal arm. We might... We could give it to Spino or Brachydeos. You know, Brachydeos with a mechanical arm would be amazing. Joker has a Cetacosaurus paw on its left eye. How the hell do these guys' dinosaurs keep, like... How the hell do these midget dinosaurs get access to these dinosaur heads? Huge, tall dinosaur heads. I'm probably gonna have this storage is gonna be for all the bionics and body pots. Okay, so what is our goal? I think right now what we what we want to do is I think we want to give them something good for their ideology. So our trial, the fossilizer uh, religion that we have right now, uh, we do need a uh, a proper church. For our trilobite worshipping villagers. So ideology. So shrine of life. Alta is very round. Maybe I don't know. I, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the design of the church so far. I I don't like how like it's it's not centered properly. <laughs> because like we were I, I we we need three relinquaries and we only have space for two. So yeah, that is very annoying. 
We also need to make a light ball and some... We need to get some disco going on as well. Although I kind of want to make like a whole new dancing room on our own. Like again, I can't center this shit, so it's so annoying. <laughs> Why did I do it this way? I want to center this. Also, get some more Neil pillows. That's gonna be enough. Since we do have like eight people in our village, so this I think this is enough for five villagers, considering one talk then four sit. But now we need more. Look, look at them ride on this, uh, Terrasol. The Air of Titan. Look at that. Look at him go. <laughs> He's zooming. He's zooming on the Terrasol. <laughs> it's funny how the Terrasols, like, they, 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 they just fast walk. They don't actually fly. Which, you know, you'd expect them to do, considering that these things can, you know, fly. But no, they, they just walk around. We also have Minerva, the Allosaur. I think we we also hatched her from an egg. So she is calm. Okay, she's a sleepy-head Allosaur. 29 days old, very young. Will probably be a fierce warrior someday, but for now she's Bippy. <laughs> will you check out Top 10 Dinosaurs' number one Obi Raptor? I will check it out, I will check it out. I mean, I think I have a knack for reviewing shitty dinosaur YouTube videos, considering that, like, that I just edited a video regarding that, so we should be able, to, we should have uh, regular video uploads again. I've been very lazy with YouTube recently, and I'm, I'm, I'm being aware of that, and I absolutely hate myself for it, because I've, I've been joining in that school, uh club about like making uh models and shit i've been i joined like a model making club and that has been sucking off all the time so yeah i was like t so i think last week i had like another another event we had we me and my uh like i guess club mates went to a model making uh what was it model making festival i think where they showed off all their like gundams and shit that they made pretty cool not gonna lie and I even found a seller that sold me some of the Matchbox Lost World, uh, Matchbox toys. So, those are, those are really cool, too. But, outside of that, honestly, for, t I spent an entire weekend on that. So, yeah, that was a pretty bad, like, I, I wouldn't say, like, that was a bad experience. But, I, I would be lying if I didn't say it was, it didn't feel, it, that it felt like a waste of time. <laughs> Considering I could be making videos and editing stuff and doing actual productive stuff in, during that time. <laughs> you know, that's why I took like a, like, pretty much like a off, like, I didn't mention it, but I practically took March off. Because I wanted to go around and do some silly stuff, but you can't keep doing this all the way to a pearl, April, you know. I almost said a pearl, which is like the German pronunciation of April. <laughs> I mean, Lofo's German uh, childhood doesn't is still innate and is deeply inside his brain. <laughs> Look at his Nippono just staring at that Obi Rapper skeleton like menacingly. <laughs> Will you just finish? Making this? Yes. But yeah, uh, honestly, like, if, if the top one dinosaur is, like, Obi Raptor, I'd be surprised, honestly. Because, like, I, I am aware of the fact that, like, I hate this part about dinosaurs, honestly, in public media. I know, like, those people that like dinosaurs are young children. I know that. But as, a, as an adult who likes dinosaurs... And, like, since dinosaurs, like, they aren't just, like, Pokemon, right? They are, like, a genuine living thing that once existed in our planet. 
And I don't know, I don't like the fact how it's been just dumbed down to make some clickbait shit for kids. Usually, like, the way adults treat it like that are just, dinosaurs are just being treated by, like, another, another thing to make money off children. And I, I don't know how to feel about this. Don't really like how dinosaurs have become, like, some clickbait shit for kids. Because, like, remember the dinosaur video that we watched just, uh, last week? Once after I watched, uh, the new King Kong movie? Like, like, that video was just also likely just intended just to make money off kids. And that's why people say that, oh yeah, like, and that's, that's extremely stupid because... I think it's- uh, dinosaurs are like the only exception to that rule because everyone can say, oh yes, uh, dinosaurs, uh, like, dinosaurs are made for kids. Something is made for kids, so we can- we don't have to put that much effort into that. Like, I don't get that logic considering, like, it's kids, they're gonna learn, so like, shouldn't you put more effort into it if it's made for kids? Like, it's just so infuriating. I'm not saying that the kids shouldn't like dinosaurs. It's just the adults and the way that they treat dinosaurs. And that's that's probably the same people who made Dino Mechart and completely screwed everything up. Like, all the designs, everything. Me when I accidentally give misinformation to children. Exactly, like, this is the kind of attitude that I don't like. I mean, uh, you're- you're talking it as a joke, so I'm- I- I know it's a joke, but, like, adults. Actual people in, up there in the production- production people that actually look at that and they're like, Oh, yes, we are gonna go ahead and just- Uh, wait, hold up. I have storage issues. Uh, let's see, what do I remove? So yeah, I don't like how dinosaurs have been treated into the just something just for kids. Because there isn't like a li there's an actual like field of science. It's paleontology. Like everyone says it's dinosaurs, but like it, there's more to just dinosaurs. Like like what because what if you say oh I, when a kid says I like dinosaurs, like he doesn't mean he just likes dinosaurs and he just hates like pterosaurs and mosasaurs and stuff like that. So usually when people say, oh yes, uh, I don't, I like dinosaurs, what they actually mean is that I like prehistory, I like paleontology. Dive deeper into this rabbit hole if you want your brain cells to be exterminated. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, that was a little rant about why I don't like a lot of the YouTube stuff for dinosaurs. I know that there's genuine people that do paleontology. I like those people. Like, those people are chill. I, I, what I don't like are those, like, YouTube clickbaiters with top 10 dinosaurs and shit. Because, like, we, we don't see, we don't, like, because there's nothing like that for any other, like, video on the internet. Like, maybe for, like, anime fights or something, maybe that. Maybe top 10 Pokemon. But you don't, you don't talk about the top 10 natural elements or the top 10 nuclear reactors in the world. <laughs> like, I don't like how dinosaurs, they, they just treat it like Pokemon, pretty much. Like, why should dinosaurs be treated like Pokemon? Yeah. 
me when I accidentally. <laughs> so yeah, did has anyone watched Ark? Oh, what the hell? Quest failed? What? Laya Salvation. What, what What was that? She's a 15-year-old scout? Oh, I didn't even know I had this quest. Well, sucks sucks for Lila. I guess she's gonna be Alice or Pooh now. <laughs> so. No raids. I I'm I still want traders and raids so we can just go ahead and sell everything. We want more of these lances. Oh, wait, I'm actually wondering. Uh, what happens if we? Where's our vir Where's our village again? Oh my god, this this world map is huge. There's so many villagers and so many factions. Oh, there it is, right. It's crazy if you think about it. There's this huge planet, and we are all on this tiny little coast of this tiny little sea. This is where we live. So, yeah, we want to go here. So these guys are... Yeah, these guys are the only Bannon pack, so that's kind of important. So, uh, right. Will they disappear? No, I don't think they're going to disappear. So, let's see if we can go ahead and... Okay, who has the psychic, psychic swords? Okay, Guerra has one and Lesam has one. So we can kidnap four people. Wait, five? Yeah, we can have we can kidnap six people. Right. So I think we're gonna go ahead and try to kidnap six villagers from that faction. Right. Just, just don't mind me. Just casually committing war crimes. <laughs> So, who do we use? It was Guara, Lesam, and Toba, right? Guara, Lesam, and Toba, right. Let's go you. Let's grab a bunch of our dinosaurs. Guara. Let's also get Itali. I think Itali is the strongest dinosaur right now. Because all the other dinosaurs have brain damage. So, we don't need anything else. We'll probably need food. So, what else? I don't think we need anything else, but we might t need more medicine. Considering that we're gonna kidnap people. So, 16 medicine. Right, let's go ahead and... Let's go off to... Dude, commit some more crimes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, RimWorld is the one of the few games where you can commit war crimes and have pet dinosaurs. Oh. Oh, a raid. Okay. Well, well, well. Looks like Karma has struck his back with some raiders. Okay, well, I no more caravanning, sorry. Right. We gotta defend our home. Right, turtle! Combat! Okay, we'll see if we can kidnap any people. And if we can't kidnap any people, uh, we'll still kidnap them even if we don't need them and we'll rip their organs out. <laughs> and then we can sell them. Hell yeah! Let's see, what what can you do? Cooking... Like, we need more crafters. If you have some crazy crafters, I'll take any good crafter that we have. We're also, dinosaurs? Right, wake up! Get in formation. <gasps> oh. 
Look, look, look how, look how crazy they're stretching out. <laughs> look at that line. Look at this line that the Bronto, like, this is like stretching the limits of how long a line can stretch. <laughs> Right, dinosaurs, combat ready dinosaurs, folks. Combat ready dinosaurs. I should definitely get some sandbags here in the middle. Right, here they come! Right. Kill? Right. And where's the yellow dinos? Unleash the war beasts! Chase him down! Right, we have one that's gonna uh, bleed out in six hours. Right, beautiful. Right, but not yet, not yet, guys. There's more people, there's more people coming in! Send out the war beasts! Tactical dinosaur deployment! Oh, there's people coming down south! Okay, just kill. Why am I not killing these? Right, there we go. Surprisingly, they still haven't attacked us. Yeah, there we go, now they're running away. Okay, he's bleeding out. Okay, guys. Good job, good job. Right. We, that guy dropped 500 silver, and let's see. Bactro, uh, capture you. You are a greedy, industrious, and a kleptomaniac. What is a kleptomaniac? Compulsive to steal and take things? That can't be good. Sassy? Who's sassy again? Oh, it's the beetle. Right. You might want to focus on... Tending to that person. Oh, no. Uh, Kailu is also bleeding out. Yeah, honestly, the beetle is the last dino you should be tending to. Okay, well, then Ornitho, would you mind... Pending. Right, you're gonna bleed out in three hours, that's why. Right, so we are gonna harvest your left lung <laughs> and your left kidney. Why not? Just need to tend them before it dies. Right, keep the body fresh! Right. Free Cabo Avexa will will probably regret what she, what has happened what is about to happen to her. So we have a choice. We could we could I think harvest organs and harvest so many organs that the person dies. Or we can we can just harvest the lungs and kidney and we can set them free. Those are two choices we could do. And I think. What, what, what benefits do I get? Uh, relations gain on release. None. Okay, I guess that's that'll that'll seal your fate. So, what should we harvest first? Your liver or your heart? <laughs> mm, what to pick? What to pick? 
Okay, medical emergency. Right. Did the Giga heal? Yes, Giga's in, uh, healed. Okay. You got any good gear? Yeah, you, we need more body armor. Why the hell haven't they, these people been making more body armor? Well, what is Motoboro doing? What, what What is Lesson doing, huh? Sleeping? Wake the hell up! We got war crimes to commit. Okay, why is wait, why is Ornitho doing the doing the surgery? Shouldn't Toba be doing it? There we go. Organs, why would you sell them? They're delicious. Unfortunately, in RimWorld, you can't actually eat them. You can't actually eat a heart. <laughs> so, unfortunately, no, I can't eat their hard out. Unfortunately. We have a bionic animal spine, arm, and lung. I still don't know who to give the arm to. I think we might give it to the Brachydeos. Uh, where is it? Front right arm. Your front right arm will be replaced with a bionic hammer, I guess. <laughs> For more blasting, more blasting purposes. Extra blasts, folks. Extra blasts. Okay, once these guys tech all the metal here, we will probably reform this into like another... Yeah, let's do that now. Because this is originally supposed to be another uh, hospital. This was, yeah, this was originally planned to be a hospital. It's just that. Still haven't got to actually building the damn thing. Been mining out this area. Then we hit steel, so I just mined out all the steel. Okay, we took their left lung and kidney, so I will take your hot now. <laughs> But you need to sleep. You're exhausted. You're recreation deprived. Okay. Not master of Joker and Orbit? Why? Why are, Why is not your... Why are you not... Oh. Okay. There you go. Uh, Joker as well? Where's Joker? He's sleeping, right? There you go. You can be with your bonded animals. Now you should be not, no longer that happy. Yeah, there we go. Master of Joker and Orbit. So yeah, a, a high animal skill is pretty much required for any uh, number of our villagers because if you have a high number of uh, animal skills, even if you don't tame animals, you can carry them around in battle or just for guardian purposes. So that's great if you're gonna, gonna get ambushed outside. You can have always have an army of dinosaurs just tagging behind you. Just like an arc. Let's get a lamp. Let's do it that. Hey, we got a beer. All right. Scout Kailu beat Gosulu in the head horribly. All right. Damn. Imagine being slapped by a Kohula Ceratops so hard you just lose your head. <laughs> you lose your head and arm. That's that's one way to go. And speaking of ways to go, Toba will now be ripping his heart out. <laughs> Look how grumpy that person looks. She does not want to get her heart taken out. Well then, you should have thought twice before attacking me with your friends. You should be happy that you got an additional day to spend before you meet your untimely demise. <laughs> it's what you get, karma. You screw around and you find out. Yeah, 
You know, Kylo is becoming a very powerful warrior. And remember, he's done this all, all this without actually wearing any armor. I don't know why I'm actually having this guy just fight right now. You should be fighting. You don't even have any armor. Bless him! You're eating? When are you actually gonna go? Uh, now you're attending a party? I need you to do some dinosaur armor. Half of our dinosaurs are roaming around naked like barbarians. I mean, they're animals, but still. Okay, in, in our clan, we have dinosaur rights. And dinosaur rights states that every animal that is capable of, of combat needs to have at least full decked out armor. Wish we settled somewhere warmer, less them. Yes, unfortunately, it I, it is 11 degrees outside. Is it, is it is that really warm? Is isn't that like warm enough? I don't know. I'd say 11 degrees like it's like fairly okay. All right, in the raptor hatchlings, I finally accepted. So that means you are calm, you are intense. Okay. Let's see, let's give you, uh, I'll just name you Rachel for now. You are another intense, but you're a, me a female. Female intense, male calm. Male intense, there we go. Right, so now we have Bambino and Rachel for now. I, I think I'll, I'll move these guys separate separately. Right. Let's put you guys into the secondary pen. And I will t train you fully. Right. You guys are the chosen ones. The rest, I will probably grow and slaughter them when they grow up. Because Indoraptor Hide makes for amazing armor. <laughs> or we might uh, sell them to traders. Depends. Depends. Okay, we can have a Jurassic Jazz. Okay, let's do Jurassic Jazz. Let's get another bit of mood buff. Let's go. It's dancing time. Yeah, party! These guys aren't doing any work. They're just partying all day and all night. <laughs> Last time it was another party. This time it's another party. Oh, it's boring. Yes, obviously. If you party two days straight, of course you can get gonna get bored. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Right. Oh, and we have a baby Quetzal now. Yeah. Right. Quetzal's very good. What should I name you? Tubby. Well, you. That's a terrible name. M J. What does that even stand for? Uh, Tilly, Ivy, Nadine, Tally. No, the ba you will be the baby eater. Right. <laughs> a name fitting for a creature such as you. Right. For now you are a baby, but soon you will be the one eating babies. The fact that 12 second unskippable ads exist, scammy. Again, it, it's not something that I have control over, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry if you feel like that, but it's really not something I have control over. I'm sorry. Bless him. Are you not supposed to be smithing? Oh, infestation? Oh, in the museum! Well, talk about a night in the museum! Well, let's hope these things don't destroy anything important to us. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Nothing too dev devastating. Right, that, that's cool. Right. We'll just have the dinosaurs get rid of these hides. Right, so, yeah, infestations aren't actually a bad, uh, usually, uh, inf infestations aren't actually that bad. Considering that we, we don't really have an insect faction, uh, I think, you know, I should actually enable, like, one or two of these insects in the game. Because right now, if we get an infestation, they, there are, like, the infestation as an event itself I exists. But, like, sometimes, like, I... Sometimes there's missions that force insects of the basic RimWorld game to spawn, but usually they don't actually spawn, so... Essentially, if I get an infestation, there's a chance for these, uh... For these insect hives to destroy buildings that I've built. But, except for that, I, I just get free jelly, so it's actually a good thing. <laughs> get, we get free food. We're actually... Kind of running low on food. A lot of the barrels are empty. I don't like that. Let's go hunt some Chrysosaurs and Gigantoraptors. Uh, who are you? Hypothermia? You're, you're just a wild man. Okay, okay. That, I don't have to rescue you, right? Yeah, why is a combat warm man is so slow? What is your movement speed? 2.40? Damn. Like, look how fast all the other dinosaurs are, and combat warm man is so far behind. <laughs> Bro, we, we gotta get, uh, give him some bionic legs or something. Okay, Nippano is not the one who has the stuff, right? Yes. Okay, you don't even actually have a shirt. Okay. All right, let's go now commit our war crime. I think now it's war crime time. <laughs> right, let's, um, uh, and I think it was uh, Nippano and Guerra, right? No, it wasn't Nippano. It was something else. It was like, I think it was Goyle, right? Let's him Goyle and Guerra. And let's see, let's take a uh, combat wombat, brachiosaurus, and brachydeos. Let's take Sutu. You know, we might need punch as well because he can carry more stuff. Because if we're gonna kidnap a lot of people, so we might need more people, right? Uh, Zalmoxes? Let's get a packed rhino, let's get packed rhinosaurus as well. He doesn't have a name, he just carries stuff for us. That's good. Right, and let's take some more medicine. And let's go! Okay, just making sure that you guys are the ones. Now, Goyle isn't the one. Toba is the one, right. There you go. We have a wild Kuluyaku, 75 years old. We are gonna hunt it. No reason not to, considering we already have a Kuluyaku. Serving at our base. Look at this Kuluyaku, he doesn't know what's about to happen. And then BAM! <laughs> Itali got their light ref left claws to sla scratch the Kuluyaku. And there it goes. Knocked down by a bite wound from Zelmoxi. Okay. Right, let's go, folks. 
Time to head out. Those war crimes won't commit themselves. Aren't you also part of the caravan, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Just tagging along. He was like, oh, wait for me! Look at him go. Just legging it. Despite the fact that he doesn't even have legs. Blessem is coming. Guerra is coming as well. Why did I have Guerra right on the bracket? Uh, right around on the beetle. The beetle is very slow. Okay, we should not have people. Okay, lesson learned. Don't have people right around on ankylosaurs. Right, they are gonna go to that village. Let's see. Old structure cache. Okay, an ancient complex. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later, buddy. Okay, but Lesem is the one of the weapon makers, so Mutoburus will have to make more plate armor. Right, and we will also need some scarves. Oh, are we already here? Okay, we are at the Worshipful Village for 10 hours. Right. Well, 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 we will see. We have some Gnomon Dubiums. Rally point. Okay, right. Team Yellow group. Red group. Hello, group. Buddy. Do these guys not know the term group? Okay. Whatever, right. I don't know, like it really matters. We want a one we want good builders. Four in construction. Four, but you have double. Oh, wait, there's just three people. It's all we have. And the only builders that we have are fours. Wow, okay. Okay, let's have Guerra go up here. Okay, psychic shot lands. Right, hostile. Okay, don't fire. Move these guys back. And and Toba. Psychic shot lands. There we go. Stun that guy. Right, now we just need dragon. Right, what you gonna do, dragon? Okay, I will quickly move behind that and psychic shot lands. Whoop! <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's see. Let's quickly make some. I thought the village would be bigger. Not gonna lie. Like this. This is this isn't a village. It's just a little outpost, <laughs> little family. Land for prisoners. Right. There you go, let's put everyone down here for now. Guerra, you can hack the ancient terminal. Well, that was a disappointment. They got a bit of a burn scar because of the psychic shot lands, but ah, eh, should be alright. 
Who cares? Right, okay, we got terminal hacked. Right. And yeah, our dinosaurs didn't do it even didn't even do anything, right? Amazing! Reform caravan, let's head back home. With all of our captives. Let's take those steel slack chunks. Mm, a chitin table. I mean, it's it says it's good, so I'll take it. Uh, steel urn? Ah, eh, why not? Like we're we're getting desperate here. Like I'm not seeing much, so I'm. I guess I'll take a wooden horseshoe pin. Just to assert dominance, I suppose. I'll take your pemmican, your berries, and I'll take your cloth bed rolls. Truly the low of the low. And there it is! We got the villager's computer quest complete. It was completely unintended, but hey. We have... Let's trigger that back on. And we also should build these things as well. Down here. Nutrient paste. There you go. That way, once the villagers arrive, we will have places to put them in. So we will probably recruit two and enslave the other one that wasn't uh, lo super loyal. I do kind of find it funny how they are like unwavingly lo loyal, but there's only like two of them. So there's only three of them, but two of them uh, will probably just turn them into our colonists. And then we just have one guy that is just unwavingly lo loyal to just his o by himself. <laughs> because he is like the only clan member of his kind, so. <laughs> Who is he being loyal to? To himself? The best kind of loyal, being loyal to himself. <laughs> Your travelers need alms. What alms do you need? Almonds? 70 herbal medicine? Ah, uh, we got a lot. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll spare a few. Hold up. But for what? But you type my mechanoids? That's a lie! Okay, what is this? Finatua, okay. You are from Orurumism. Okay. You are nudists. Okay. Nudists. You aren't machine worshippers, so... You venerate Oranosaurus. That's, that's a very specific choice. But okay. Wow, yeah. You are... Pretty useless. I'll, I'll say that. You know what? I I am not gonna help you out since it's it's obvious that you guys are lying. Okay, there's no mechanoids in this game. Stop saying that you've been attacked by mechanoids. <laughs> Imagine if mechanoids come down and end the entire faction. It's impossible because I disabled the mechanoid event. It isn't. It's it's physically impossible for me mechanoids to raid us. And if you've been wondering why I don't have mechanoids in this game. It's for one, I think that mechanoids are a bit too overpowered, considering that, like, they can just one-shot a colonist with a lucky shot. And number two, uh, mechanoids don't ride dinosaurs, so... And they have their own, like, uh, centipedes and something called, like, centipedes and shit. Which is, like, their own version of dinosaurs, but instead of dinosaurs, it's, like, cyborg bugs. So they will never arrive with tamed dinosaurs, and that kind of defeats the whole point of living in a dinosaur world. <laughs> because late, later down in the game... Like, all the tribals, the non-factions, they aren't powerful enough. The game thinks that they aren't powerful enough. So they won't actually send these uh, threats to you instead of just replacing them with mechanoids. So, in the end game, you're just gonna find mechanoids over and over and over again. You won't see any of those uh, tribals with, of their armies of dinosaurs raiding you, which is what we want to see in this series, right? It would be kind of stupid if we made a Dinosaur World series 
And all we'd be doing is just fighting robots. <laughs> we do that already enough already enough in Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, the caravan is here. But all of our slaves. Beautiful. Like a simple door here. I don't think I'm gonna put anything there, but for now. Right. Because we need a bed. There you go. We'll have three beds. And that's gonna act as our hospital. Just need to move these things out of the way. Wild Apsaros. Oh, an Apsaros. Hey, these are like those beetle uh, creatures or monsters, right? It's kind of how why do these why do these guys drop heavy fur? What? I didn't know these were furries. They look pretty hard and leathery. <laughs> oh, you have Amazon Prime? Wait, I don't think I don't think Amazon Prime uh has Ark. A peacock has it, right? Like I think that's the whole reason why I can't watch it. Because, like, Peacock is, like, such, such a weird series, and it's only available to US only, so... I mean, I think you... I can, I can watch it with you, though. That, that's true. Oh, yeah. Let's also get those sandbags here that, that I said I would. Uh, what hide do we have? Do we have some heavy dinosaur hide? Yes. About time we do this. Oh, look how much dirt there is. Holy crap. So filthy. Right. Everyone is here? Right. Prisoner, you will un you are unwaveringly loyal. Okay. First, let's see. Uh we are we should realize Yeah, let's do that first. Oh, okay, I I'm hearing so many interrupter screeches. <laughs> So loud. No, let's try to tame this baby Pteranodon, shall we? The reason we're taming babies is because it's easy to tame babies and adults. We'll just quickly sneak over. And we'll give him some kibble. Oh my god, look at look at him just 
dancing around like crazy. <laughs> Tame the baby. Give him some meat. Yeah, there we go. We just kidnapped the baby. Bro, we know now. We, we we. I think it's. We probably know what what's gonna happen to the adults now. <laughs> right, Pteranodon, you are gonna go into the main pen for now, and I will have you train everything, because pterosaurs are amazing for hauling and rescuing. Because since they're the fastest animals in this game, they can just rescue people, like, they can just swoop people up and immediately carry them to the hospital. They are pretty overpowered in terms of, like, carrying animals. You just don't want to use them in combat. Hence, like, we, we have Thalassodromios, we have, uh, our Cryodraken. Uh, what else do we have? We also have the Quetzal, and now we also have a Pteranodon. So I think we have almost every one of them. Now we can just kill the others. Oh yeah, kill this, that guy too. <laughs> there we go. Right, gotta kill all the dinos so that there's sp space left for the others, for new ones to spawn. Just, just the way the nature works. It's, it's an Amazon? Oh really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, we should totally watch that. I don't like how there's a sniper rifle in with, with uh. Maybe you are okay. Let's reduce your resistance. Reduce your resistance too. In those 10 degrees. Hey, Mutabura, will you just finish finish the stupid weapon? I can't believe you still haven't finished it. Okay, we are running low on wood. Let's go get, grab some wood. Okay. Let's just get all these people's resistance down. No, I'd rather go back to my community. Dude, you don't have a community anymore. <laughs> we took all the people. The only thing that is left from your community is your just empty wooden houses. And we didn't even kill any of one of you guys. We're literally asking you guys to be calmly be integrated to our society. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got like working dinosaurs for us. We're using the power of Mother Nature itself. There's no way that you guys will, like, why wouldn't you join us? It's, it's such a good choice. Okay, why is that random Dino Kyrus wearing our armor? Is that even our pet? Oh, it is our tame. I didn't even know we had a Dino Kyrus, right? Okay. Yeah, you wear the steel armor. We have a random ass Dino Kyrus. I didn't even know we had a Dino Kyrus in our, in our village. I guess it must have, like, auto-tamed or something. I don't remember taming this guy. Well, I will start training you, though. Oh, it's it's a pen animal. Okay, that, that kind of sucks. But, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hate these pen-style animals. Like, why would you have, like, a pen-style animal if you can just have, like... Just select a zone and put them in there. Like, it's such an annoying way to have, like, an animal. Oh, 
we have a baby beetle. We have a female chromatic beetle, yes. So, this guy, I did get an egg that I auto-hatch. Uh, I didn't auto-hatch it, uh, what am I talking about? Not auto-hatch. I bought this egg from a trader as well. He was actually there for quite a day, quite a couple days. I completely forgot about its existence, but... Oh, we have to tame it though, yeah, okay. Goyle, let's tame you. It's a female chromatic ankylosaurus. Chromatic ankylosauruses are pretty good animals. They're great in combat, and they actually produce eggs. They essentially just shit out statues <laughs> that increase the beauty. So yeah, it's amazing, and which which we can even sell for money. So if we tame these this baby, we'll be able to make a bunch of uh, chromatic ankylo eggs. That's gonna be another commodity we can sell at our base, just like the snails. Uh, yeah, it's just like the snails and the woolly stegosaurs that we have. So I think this this pen is just for the resource producing done. This one is for the defenders, this one is for the attackers, and this one is for the collectors. Why Why are you actually in this pen? You shouldn't be in this pen, right? Yeah. I trained you to haul, so you should be going around hauling stuff. Offer slow, friendly gestures to baby eater. <laughs> we should make another machining table. And we don't have enough components. Right, because I don't like how Mutabora is just hogging this machining table when she's not- Just half the, half the time she isn't even doing anything, she's just sleeping. This compacted steel. If silver, where's compacted machinery? Do we do we do we get use every single one of it? So early? No, there's there's a few. There you go. Let's mine this out. Of a cool looking table. We also have a steel urn that we took. <laughs> Random artifacts. Like we are, I think we are the equivalent of like sci-fi paleo Britain. <laughs> Taking their artifacts and kidnapping all the people. <laughs> let's don't let's also don't mention the fact that we literally just colonized a little a literal family there. Yeah, there we go. We have a chromatic ankylosaurus. Who cares about colonization? We got a baby insect. Baby beetle. Right. Called convict. <laughs> what a fitting name. Uh, Kiki Poverty? Who would name their animal Poverty? Uh, you know, you shall be named... Uh, Bomb Beetle. Alright. Because it looks like a, he, a bomb went inside of it. A bomb made out of paint because it's colorful. You know, it's, it's a very nuanced uh, name. You wouldn't really get the gist of it. <laughs> Alright, let's train you fully. Let's put you in with our resource dinosaur. We gotta make sure every time we tame a dinosaur, we need to put it in the, in the assigned pen. Because if we don't, we are quickly gonna have issues. 
Well, we have way too many dinosaurs. Uh, Bomb Beetle, you go into the secondary pen. Yep, there you go. Okay, so I th did we uh research micro analyzing or something? No, I don't think we haven't done that just yet. Multi analyzer. No, uh No, we need fabrication, that's why. We'll get the neutral su uh neural supercharger first though. Because that's what we've been trying to get the entire time. Look how look how crazy their resistances are. The resistance is twenty two and nineteen. They usually start off at fourteen or something, but no. Damn. So we have a kidney, lung, and a heart. Wait, didn't one of our uh people have a, a asthma or something? Wasn't it Pono? Oh yeah, I think we already did do implants on her. Yeah, we already Im we replaced all of her lungs with the lungs of some criminal bastard. <laughs> so yeah, she no longer has asthma. A wild Titanoboa. Ooh. Get a vent. Uh, they're, I think they're pretty cold, so. Yeah, awful prison cell. They also want a neutral supercharge. You guys didn't even have a neutral supercharge back in your base. What makes you think that our base will have it? Uh, let's also focus on enslaving you. Well, we also have 78 Kuliaku. Snakes are the only thing that looks normal in this game since they have no legs. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, doesn't Titan Boa have legs? Or... Uh I might be mistaking it for another snake. I think it, I, it was a different snake, though. Let's give you a tiny little colorful rug. Why not? The cool Yaku that we killed. There you go. Now you have a slightly impressive cell. With a dinosaur rug. Yeah, I think it was a different snake, though. Yeah, it was something else. The, the snake with those tiny legs at the end of its tail. Yeah, Titanoboa didn't have them. He was more... Titanoboa was too advanced. I know that some snakes in the Cretaceous had them. I think it was like an Indian Titanosaur, like a nest raiding snake, I think. Yeah, that's that's a crazy fossil. There's this, There is a, like a snake fossil that is coiling around a Titanosaur egg. And it's trying to eat the baby. And it was fossilized at that moment. It's it's crazy. This got ended by an army of killer reptiles. Oh yeah, the Pilonomus. <laughs> Neural supercharger. Alright, we have that. Right. Transhumanists. Okay, so how do we build neural superchargers? Uh okay, misc. I've never built a neural supercharger. Oh, because we don't have anyone, yeah. Is 
still gotta either enslave these this guy or and don't strip him can i not enslave him he'll probably get enslaved pretty soon So yeah, our goal today is to make the neural supercharger. Indoraptors, how well is your training going? You've trained all the way up to guard. Okay. Like there's these the the things that we can't have enough in our base are crafters. We need we we can all we can always use more crafters and more uh builders. No, not builders. Uh we could use more builder uh crafters and animal. Matt Apsaros, okay. We gotta build another tool cabinet here. Alright. Random mad absolutes. Well, we'll take care of that. Gotta send out the dinosaurs and everything will be okay. There you go. Bionic arm. Brachydios with the bionic arm. That's like, isn't that like something from like freaking Monster Hunter stories? Little toe snakes are the only thing are from their ancestors. Tutnabo Tut didn't have them. I think so. Right, we also have a wooden horseshoe's pin, which is different from a hoopstone ring. It's like a modern version of the hoopstone ring. I think it does it does it's also considered a different item though. So. Good. Right, we also have another artifact steel urn, which we will proudly display in our rec room. T-Rex really doesn't like it when you do your carnival's legacy intro. Yeah, that's true. Right, once we build our neural supercharger, I think we're gonna play some carnivores. Uh, once we do our little dinosaur uh village, look at look at how many dinosaurs we have, and to think that our our starting village only had like zero dinos, and we have a whole menagerie. Look at this, so many so many dinosaurs, so many critters. Lofa will get mauled by a T Rex ninety nine times again. Honestly, I like I I'm debating on removing the T Rex now since we already killed it. We killed one eye. You know, is, is there really a reason for us to keep having T-Rex in our runs? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm considering removing it, but I'm also considering just keeping it for the lols. Like, what do you guys think? We did kill the T-Rex. So we're just gonna remove it from the, uh, from this hunting roaster. Like, the T-Rexes can still naturally spawn, like the Stegos. Like, kind of what I did with the Stegos. Since, like, Stegos still spawn, it's just that I disabled them from the spawn menu. Carnivores, take a look at top 10 dinosaurs. Okay, so... Keep it for the lols. Okay, I'll keep it for the lols. Should do a T-Rex only hunt? Now that's professional. I, I'm not a professional carnivores player. <laughs> Every dino spawns natural. Exactly. That's that's why I'm saying I should just remove it from the hunting roster. Since we did kill the T-Rexes. So I don't think there is a reason for me to keep it in the hunting roster. It's, it's, they can still naturally spawn. But it, I'll just get low. I'll just lower the chance of it spawning.
I mean, the sniper rifle is probably the easiest way to kill a T-Rex. Alright, we have enslaved dragon. Okay. You shall be named, uh... What should I name you? We aren't, we aren't gonna have a guy named Dragon in our base. That is not allowed. I mean, you know what? You, you, you're just gonna be named Drake Rex. <laughs> right, best, right? I mean, he, he got it off easily, right? That's probably the best name that is closest to the original name. So, where is the neutral supercharger? I think we should be able to make it, though. Can I? Yes, there it is! The neural supercharger! Alright, they consume a lot of electricity. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be very interesting to watch. Where should I put it, though? Let's put it over here. Right. But we need components. Do we not have a single component? Well, I, I can't believe we don't have any components. What? Oh no, there is some. All the way up here. Holy crap. We need traders. We need like we need people. <laughs> right. How many fossils do we have in our base? We have 114. I think that's enough for us to make a I think we can make another fossil. New exhibition. Oh, no, we can't make it because we haven't researched paleontology yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. We might as well do it now. Probably won't take that long. You can play carnivores mandibles? Isn't that the carnivores game without any dinosaurs? <laughs> Personally, I do not get the appeal of removing the one thing that the... That carnivores is well known for. You know the dinosaur hunting game? Yeah, you know what? Let's take the dinosaurs out of the hunting game. <laughs> the one thing, the re the only reason I'm playing that game is to have dinosaurs. And you know what? Let's just remove dinosaurs. Now that'll be fun. It's it's one of my few things that I don't like few gripes with dinosaur uh with dinosaur games. It's it's, it's why I don't really like Ark's game. I like I like the Ark's gameplay, but I don't like Ark's philosophy of creature design and shit. Okay, like if you're ha if you're okay for all game future game developers out there, if you want to advertise your game as a dinosaur game, it means that yeah you think dinosaurs are cool. But then, if you go ahead and start adding in a random, like, alien and robot shit, like, what's the diff- what's the difference between that and Halo? Isn't that just Halo with dinosaurs, then? With a- with a side dish of dinosaurs? Like, I don't see the point in doing that. If you're just- if you're making a dinosaur game, I think people should be aware that while you're ma making the game, they- they- like, they, the audience should be people who think dinosaurs are the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> Like, at least the game's philosophy should be that way. But anyways, we have our new... Neuro Analyzer, finally. Is that what you call it? The Sleep Analyzer? There we go! Alright, so... If you're tired, you can just go ahead and do a little zap and you will be completely okay. All to use desire. All to use for everyone, yes. Let's do that. 
Oh, but oh, you need multiples of them. Oh, it, it, it charges, and then, oh, okay, I see. It can deliver one supercharge each day. Oh, okay, so technically we need one for every colonist. Is that what you're saying? Oh my god. <laughs> That's just, that just sounds really annoying to manage. I mean, I'll have Lessem, uh, I think Lessem is the main maker, so I'll just have Lessem, uh, keep supercharging himself, but, damn, we need more, more of these? Honestly, actually, now that I think about it, do we even need these people now, now that we made, the, uh, the, now that we made the neural supercharger? And we'll keep them around, I guess, for now. I suppose. But we could just execute them or just release them. Which, by the way, like, do we get any benefits if we release you? No, none. Okay. I don't know why Chops and Garcia, uh, you, I don't know why you both think that I'm like some sort of carnivore's master. I'm just a guy who plays dinosaur games and carnivores just happen to be one of those games. I don't claim that I'm a professional carnivores player or anything. I never claim so, and I, I don't think I'll ever will. Okay, but now that we got our neural supercharger, I think that is going to be it for today in our dinosaur clan. So, yeah, we got loads of stuff. We did a couple war crimes, I think that's enough war crimes for today. We tamed uh, some animals, I think. We tamed, I mean, it, today's more of an episode of me just showing all the dinosaurs that we have tamed. Not the ones that we, I don't think we didn't, I, I don't think we tamed the more animals today. I think we, we did get the bomb beetle today, but I don't think we did tame the baby PT though. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, human dinosaurs. So if I'm enjoyed this video, leave a like. If I'm done, forget to subscribe. Until next time, may the Jurassic strip with you. Ah, uh, bye bye. Woo. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see what's. Let's see what we're gonna play today. Right. At least prove yourself that you actually have skills. Here, that's the thing, chops. I don't have skills. <laughs> I never claimed that I had sk skills, and I don't think I ever will. I just don't have skills. <laughs> I suck. Okay, let's see. Carnivals. Boop. Uh, guess what, Lofo? I, I wasn't actually attached to the screen all along. Just overlaid myself to look like I'm on a screen, but turns out they're all separate. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny visual. Visual tricks you can pull off with streams. I love when streamers do this. Just makes this things look funny. Right, uh, well, how do I turn that off? The random square in the top right. There you go. Right, top 10 dinosauruses. Okay, you know what? Let's look at that first. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, right, let's see. So we have top 10 biggest dinosaurs ever, and we see the Mosasaur, so there's that. Uh, big, 10 biggest sea dinosaurs. Yes, yeah, sea dinosaurs. Yeah, the, the, I don't think, I think the only sea dinosaur is, is, is me in a swimming suit. <laughs> and even I suck at swimming, so. The top 10 dinosauruses. Okay, we gotta watch top that. 10 dinosaurs. Maybe you're wondering okay, how. let's see. Uh, top 10 uh, dinosauruses. Number 10 Oviraptor. Top 10 Dinosauruses Maybe you're wondering my most 10 favorite dinosauruses. <laughs> the science study of dinosaurs is called Dinosaurusology. By leading experts like myself, 
and it is constantly changing as we make new uncoveries almost every Bruh. Tuesday when we find new bones in my cousin Rob's garage. He hasn't thrown anything out since the 90s. Bam! As such, bear in mind that up to two facts I am about to share could become dated over the course of the next century. However, as both the king and queen of science, this will only be true if I am still available to approve the new facts. Bruh. If dead or kind of tired, then nobody will ever know what's true anymore. So you should be nice to me. Talk about gatekeeping science. Oviraptor. Oviraptor. Its fossil skeleton was found in a pile of dinosaur eggs in Mongolia. Oviraptor was a good model for what all dinosaurs were like. It was a wrinkly lizard that slithered in filthy dirt and had difficulty <laughs> standing upright because its bones were made of rocks. Okay, that that's just stupid. <laughs> because the whole point of Oviraptor, like, this is just the way it's posed. Like, I think even back in the old days, people thought that Oviraptor was... Could at least stand upright, but I, I I think I think the game this is just sarcasm, right? <laughs> I think this is just sarcasm. This is the, term, the Stone Age. So be grateful you're living in the Bone Age. Every raptor's name means eggs velociraptor. <laughs> eggs velociraptor. Stole eggs. It invented cooking milk, and your dinosaur eggs were disgusting. So every over raptor starved to death. Damn. I mean, yeah, I didn't like kids. I didn't like eggs when I was a kid. <laughs> Most di Dynamosauruses died out during the Bronze Age and, and Iron Age because their bones were too heavy to move. <laughs> the worst part of getting older is that no one asks what my favorite Dinosaurus says are anymore. Instead, they just ask, when will you get a job? You can easily tell the Dinosaurology field is always changing because every time it's caught by a different word. <laughs> Personally, I like the Spinosaurus. It was fascinating that it was actually able to spin. Yeah, that, that's a pretty interesting fact. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of want to see more more shitty videos like this, but like I, I know that today it's a different day, right? It's a different day. I don't have my headset on today because I did realize that while, while I was watching that video that it was actually kind of echoing because, again, my speaker was taking the YouTube vocal sound as well, so. Yeah, I will probably wear- I'll probably have a separate video where I do that, so. Top- miss, Never miss a trending video! Top 10 Dinosaur says! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Right, uh... Let's see. Do I actually have, uh... Oh, shit! We can't play carnivals today. It, I don't have the hard drive. The hard drive that I have carnivals on is on my other desk. I could pull it out, but then the internet connection is going to get destroyed, and I will have to start a new stream, so... Uh, you know what? Let's play Roblox. Let's play Roblox. You guys love when I play Roblox, right? You know what? I will treat yourself. To have a gameplay of Roblox. I want to play carnivals, but I don't I can't play carnivals. Because I have it on a different hard drive, so. Don't leave the circle. Real 100 player ser server. Oh, this is interesting. You know what? Let's play this. 100 players? Is it is it like the Hunger Games? That looks interesting. It's been a while since I played Roblox, so yeah. Um, I don't think I don't I don't know what changed. I lost all interest in Roblox after they implemented that really shitty like update in Primal, uh, not Primal OPS. What was it? Primal Pursuit or something? That shitty walking sim. Where, like, if, if you step into the Redwoods, you just start freaking dying for no reason. So. You know, now that I think about it, you know, you know, Chops, I should totally, I, uh, that, that was such a, I can't believe I didn't think about, about it sooner, but I should have just made, like, an April Fool stream where I just pretended to unironically like, uh, a walking simulator game. I can't believe I didn't fall... Okay, let's just turn off the game music for now, because that's obviously gonna get copyrighted. Because these Roblox people don't know shit about something called copyright, so... Do that.
Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I've never played this. All right. Okay, Roblox seems to have issues. Okay, no problem. I can just use this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, game plans. Mute music. There's a. Oh, there is a mute music button. Okay, thank God. Beautiful. Right. Thank you. Right. Let's see. Right. <laughs> I, I I can't I I forgot the fact that I still had this uh those little shoulder pads that Oats gave me. <laughs> I will cherish them. Right. Starting in sixteen seconds. Right. Push your enemy. Wait, didn't they say it was a hundred players in a circle? I think that's a bit less than hundred. Wait, why, 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 why are you? Why do I still have the music now? What? When you need to stay last in the circle. Oh, hello, Mr. Breast. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's what I do. So I just stay in the circle. Okay, I I thought. Okay. Oh, it's a PvP style game? Okay, I thought it was a style of game where you do challenges and stuff, but I guess not. Oh no, there is hunger, toilet, and water and sleep. Okay. So how do I sleep? Do I just go inside? Is that is that how you sleep? If you just ragdoll in here? Is that how I sleep? How do I sleep? Oh, there's slides. Everyone's going up the slide, and there's only a th three people are already out. Wow, okay. Now you can swing on tires. Okay. Let's go up. Mr. Breast, my favorite YouTuber. Yes. Yoink. Oh, oh, I can't actually slide. I have to walk down. Wow. No, I can rack though, right? Whee! There we go. <laughs> Just broke 25 bones in the process. It was totally worth it. <laughs> Okay, what is E? What? What does pressing E do? Oh. Oh, what did I do? I don't know what just happened, but I just, just did an animation. Let's try, let's, can I just bonk him off? Is that a thing I can do? Just bonk him? Headbutt him. Headbutt him. Headbutt. Headbutts. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My tire! Let's see if I can just scoot back and forth. Maybe yeet myself off. Nope. Oh, okay, so I can just... Uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. So you have to stay in the toilet for a moment. It's taking a shit. Okay, I see. So if you, if you, oh, okay, I see. Okay. Jump on trampoline. Do I have to do this? I feel like this is a one way ticket to get, just get racked old off the face of the earth. Okay, well, what are these? Croissants? I didn't, I didn't think, I, I don't think I got any of them. Rusei out. Oh, what is this? There's a bottle of coke. Can I grab this? Oh, there it is. No, no, no. I, I, I have items in my inventory. There it is. Okay, I, I just have to eat it this way. Okay. So, can I not get coke? I thought I, I, I thought I could grab this and like drink it or something. No. Can I drink the pool water here? I mean, it's disgusting, but I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm drowning. <laughs> so this goes on for 20 minutes. Wow, okay. So let's just go to the toilet real quick. May I? There you go. How do I sleep? I don't know how to sleep. Good night, everyone. Okay. Is that how you sleep? 
How do you sleep? I don't get it. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay, there's less. There's. I guess there's gonna get gonna get less and less sleeping bags. I see. That's how it works. Oh, okay. That that's clever. That's clever. Everyone's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the, there's oh the the countdown is actually increasing now. It's not decreasing. It's increasing. Yeah, there is less sleeping bags than the amount of people there. There's some. There's just gonna be some that can't sleep. Oh, that that guy. That guy. That jumping guy. He's he's daring, huh? Right, you know, I should go to the toilet. Day number two. Let's see if I can win a million dollars. So what is number one? Is that water? Fight with swords? Uh, no thanks. I've always been the more pacifying guy. I'm just gonna hide here and just ragdoll. Yep. Just don't pretend I exist. <laughs> what is this crap you're playing? I don't know. It looks interesting. Four, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, three. I'm out. <laughs> I'm just, just pretend that I don't exist. Look at, look at me, just. Hey, I mean, hey, I, I always the win. I, I always wanted to win a Mr. Breast Challenge, okay? Fresh water. I need water. Yes, yes. What? Drink, 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 drink. Yes, a hundred water. There we go. Circle shrinking. Okay. Mr. Brust, may I have some more water? <laughs> you should play some quality crap now. Like what? Pry Extinction? That's just crap crap. This game is more fun than Pry Extinction. <laughs> I'm actually doing something. Believe it or not. I know it's a hard thing to say. You know, can't believe I'm playing a game where I'm actually doing something instead of just walking around forever. Parkour. Oh no, is that how I die? Is it like the floor is lava or something? Oh no, 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 I don't have to do this, okay. But I'll still give it a shot, why not? <laughs> oh, pizza, pizza, pizza time, pizza time! Pizza, 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 pizza! I need more pizza. Give me more pizza. <laughs> 79, I should be fine. Push with fish. What does that mean? Push with fish? What? What the hell do you mean by push with fish? How do you even beat this? <laughs> this crap is too crap. Honestly, yeah, but I kind of want to see what happens if I reach the end of it. Is it lava? Don't try to swim in it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Floor is lava! Alright! Oh! People are just burning alive! That's what... Can't believe... Skill issue. Should have been the Jurassic World Baryonyx, huh? Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Ah, oh, 
Oh, come on, that's so bullshit. I think if the circle starts shrinking, we won't be able to do the parkour. But there's more parkour now. Okay. Let's exit this and let's get in the sleeping bag, right? I know there's gonna be less and less sleeping bags each day, so people will start dying. It, it, okay, I, I must admit, this game is kind of stupid now that I keep playing it. it it's kind of boring. <laughs> but I... But now I, I've, I've gone too far. Now I have to play. <laughs> Day number three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me that. Oh, I got, got water. Yes. Water. Okay, let's save water. I have a banana. What is this used for? Can I, can I put it here? Oh, okay, that'll make people ragdoll. Okay. You know what, I think I'm gonna put it up here. Yep. If someone slips on that hill, they'll get yeeted off the circle. Right, uh, just just smart, clever, clever strategizing, Lofo. Oh, he sees the banana. Ah, okay. <gasps> Is that another water bottle? Ah, damn it. Oh, what? Oh, I slipped on my own banana. Oh yeah, falling from my own tricks. Classic Lofo. Right. This crap is too crap. I wouldn't say it's too crap, but it's it's like boring crap. It's just made to just snap the time out of people. Okay, but we need more food. Kind of starting to starve. Oh, how do I slip on a banana that fell on my face? How does that even work? What if I put a banana peel up here? Oh, okay. That was kind of effective. Oh, give me that. Give me peanuts. What is this? Peanuts? I don't care. Potatoes? Okay, I need food. I need food. Potatoes. I need more potatoes. Game. Okay, push with fish. How do I push with fish? Fish! Uh huh. Okay, I see. Just need to walk him. Okay. What will you play after this? I don't know. <laughs> this, this is kind of boring, but again, I, I, I've already invested too much time into it. Now I, I gotta see the end of it. <laughs> okay. Yes, there we go. Uh, toilet is gonna be a bit of an issue later in the game, I think. Oh, lava? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> God damn it! Right. Stupid love of failed the Jurassic World baryonic skill check. Well, 
I, I was, it was about time I had enough of that game anyways. Right, let's try to, time to move on to something else. Let's see what we have. Godzilla x Kong Obby? Oh wait, is this official? Oh wait, I think this is official. Wait, can I get like Godzilla Kong gear? Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Can I get a Shimo hat? Oh, wow. Oh, King Kong emote. Kong suit. I can get a Kong hat. Oh my god, there's a Godzilla head! Oh, sold out? What does sold out mean? Oh, I see. Okay, so I have to go in there tomorrow to get this item. Okay, that's a clever way. They removed other kaiju games for this bullshit. Go finish the obby and then come back here. Okay, let's see. Oh! Wait, hold up! If I- if I do this, won't I get copyright striked? <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah, you do have a point, Lefo. You will get copyright striked. Why- why am I- Oh, but there, there's a King Kong coming out. Okay, that's- that's pretty cool. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, clever Lefo. Okay, lo uh, Roblox. Okay. Enter if you dare. Okay, let's see what this is about. Face the double jump. Okay, yay. Okay. I'm gonna- I gotta play this for the Godzilla suit. Right, me want Godzilla suit. Right, I played Kaiju Universe and other Kaiju games. Those, those are pretty shit. So... <laughs> okay, just subjective opinion, okay? If you enjoyed the game, good for you. But I personally just didn't find that was quality. It was just- It was just classic anime fighting game from Roblox. Instead of- Instead of Roblox people, it's just Kaiju. That's it. There was nothing new or original about it. It's just be kaiju, kill players, grind points, be another kaiju, grind points, be another kaiju. Over and over and over again. So boring. It's a shitty obby game. I mean, it said it was an obby, but I kind of want to do this for the Godzilla suit, you know? <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> Wait, hold up. There's promo codes, right? Let let's see what the promo codes are here, right? Claim a reward. Let's see what this is about. Right, so we have... What are the promo codes again? Let's say Baby Kong, Obby, Godzilla. Oh, I just get more th more thingies. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, I guess. I thought I'd get like a cool plush toy or something. I just get more points. I mean, I I I'll need them for uh. Put a Godzilla suit. Let's see, we have amazing and fun times. Seriously, <laughs> amazing. I mean, the movie was good, but I don't think it deserves amazing, right? <laughs> oh, that's parkour, and that's one of your weaknesses. Yes, indeed. That's why I'm using. I'm. I'm cheating my through my way through using active codes. <laughs> and legends. Okay. I wonder if I can. If I can. Can I put in Shimo? No, okay, right. I I Loki thought that would be a thing, but no, guess not.
So how long does this event last for? Like they they got rare like daily items, so I'm assuming it's not gonna take that long. And I really want that Godzilla head. Love her weaknesses is any other game genre than his walking sim he played then. Too much he lost the skills. Yeah. That's why kids you should never play walking simulators. It just makes you dumb. Lofa, what have you become? You've become a walking simulator hater to just straight up spreading propaganda. What do you what do you mean walking sims turn you dumb? You were dumb before you even were before you were even bored, Lofa. I mean, let's see. I feel like this parkour is very easy though. Consider how far is this parkour though? Oh! It's, it's Mini Kong! Okay. Light. Oh, we <laughs> so fun. Let's see. Oh, Shimo crystals. Is that supposed to be some? Oh, we got rock traps. Okay. Skill issue. Right. <laughs> this this parkour isn't very hard. Okay, it's it's made for five year olds. Okay, Lofo. If you can't beat this parkour that is made for five-year-olds, I don't know what the else to say. <laughs> oh, oh, whee! Okay, oh, it's not over yet. Okay, right. Is this an obby so, so that little Timmy's can understand this? Yeah, it's for the little Timmy's and lofos out there. <laughs> Ooh, scary, right? Oh, there are rocks falling out. Okay. Oh, it's, it's crying rocks. Yeah, I'd be crying rocks too if I were you. Huh? Oh, okay. God damn it, lava. Right. I knew I should have selected... Jurassic World Baryonyx as my main class instead of Dilophosaur. <laughs> so have you guys got the Godzilla suit? Any one of you guys? Okay, there we go. From this. Hey Godzilla, what's up, buddy? Hey! Oh, I just I just phased the room, okay. <clears throat> no? What do you mean no? Yeah, you haven't got the Godzilla suit yet? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's King Kong and his little glove. I'm fine with my troll avatar. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm fine too, but my Dilophosaur? Oh, skip, 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 skip. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, that's that's it? Okay. It's, it's kind of cool how the, the movie does have, like, subtitles. Although, like, I, I'm not going to keep watching it because I don't want to... Sold out, sold out. Oh, the Kong head is also sold out. I need 2,000... I need 2,500 orbs! Uh, claim the Kong's Beast UGC. Oh, is that, is that, is that how I get it? Wait, what, what, what a... Blade Ball? How the hell do I need... I need to play Blade Ball? Okay. Oh, okay. I, I I don't remember myself actually doing these poses, but yeah, that that's that's cool. <laughs> Cobb fried it like every game that has Kaiju. Yeah, I want the Godzilla tail though. I want no, that's not the Godzilla tail. That's just the Godzilla back, right? No, is that just his tail? Okay. 
The head, tail? Is there a Godzilla body somewhere? I feel like we should be, we could be able to make like a whole Godzilla set. So, but if Kong body is to, like 2,500, like how much is it gonna, t how much grinding is it gonna take to get each one of these? Oh my god, now I kind of don't want to play this. <laughs> so grindy. There's no Godzilla body. I I feel like if I look up in the store, someone should probably just texture it or something. Like as a texture, not as in like an actual body. But there's a game called Escape from North Korea. Woohoo! I can escape from North Korea. Yes, it was always my dream to escape from North Korea. Now I can finally finish the escape this goddamn country. It said sold out. Oh, so it, is, is, is it sold out for like forever? I thought it would be like, it, I thought it would be like, be like a daily restock or something. Oh, it's just gone? Like gone, gone? Well, that sucks. Now, what the hell was I even doing all this shit for? Why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> Oh, please, my brain cells are dying. Please play quality crap. Like what? Like Pry Extinction? That's more like quality diarrhea, okay? <laughs> Super epic, cool North Korea merch. Bukan, Korea. Okay. Water. Hamhong. You here. Bat Korea. <laughs> the best Korea map. This map's so good. <laughs> All right, well then. Hello, this is my home. Yeah, truly Lofo Simulator right here. Hello, dear Korea, welcome to Escape from North Korea game. Explore the map using feet, cars, or bicycles, and tanks. Okay. Wow, just just amazing. Hey, this, this looks like the, my house that I'm living in right now. What is this newspaper? Hi there, if you're re reading this, you'll probably find my secret note if you want to escape this horrible country. I was stuck here in about two years, but one day I decided to look around and I found a strange hole near the wall. If you want to find it, you have to go to the left side of the wall, and I don't know what's on the other side. Uh, left side. Okay. What is this? Flashlight. Ooh, flashlight, okay. Oh, bicycle! Give me a bicycle! I wanna ride on a bicycle, goddammit! <laughs> uh. Oh, there's more bicycles! Hell yeah, communism for the win! Bicycles for everyone! <laughs> Let's go! So cool, I don't even need my arms! Oh my god, this thing is kinda hard to see. The DMZ zone. Let's go. Right. Please do not cross that border. You know, I was not going to cross the border, but just because you said it, I'm just going to go ahead and cross the border. Screw you. <laughs> if I can actually aim this damn thing, that is. <laughs> right. Let's see. Right. Wee! Okay. Come on. There you go. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. No! God damn it. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that, that was out of nowhere. Okay. I was gonna try and talk to that guard, but he was like, nope, just be gone. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a car! Hey, car! Let me in! 
Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> now, you bastards! <laughs> you bastard! Alright, let's see. Hello, guard. Hello, comrade. Can I go to the other side? Oh, go ahead. Glory to the government of DPRK. No scam? No scam. Okay, I mean... He says this, so. Can't believe I fell for the same trick twice. Uh... Alright, let's see. Oh, I, I, can, I can super sprint with... with shift. I didn't know... I did not know that. Who needs a bicycle when I can run? Alright, let's see what this road is about. Seems like there is no entry over that way. That note did say something about a hole in the, in the east zone, right? What is this hole? Just a, is it just a little grave or something? Grave of my hopes and dreams? I mean, that's one way to escape North Korea. Just jump into the ocean. I want to go to South Korea. Come on, who who wouldn't want to go to the country with the highest suicide rate, huh? It's everyone's dream, right? But how the hell do I go there? Maybe I use the car and trick shot myself over it. If there is a car still there. Come on, Lofo. There is a sign. Let's see if I can. <gasps> Wait, what? You can just do that? Oh. <laughs> what? That is just unfair. Did you see that hole there? No, I did not. We have a camping van. All right, let's go. Van time. I don't see a hole. Uh I don't see a hole. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. There's a hole, do you not see it? What hole? In in this ho in this area or go back that path. Oh, uh, that path. Okay. Oh 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 ah! oh. Oh. Okay. What is that? What is this? I see a box. There's something written on it. Coming soon?
scary. Well then, time to join my car. Yeah, I think I found out what, what hole you mean. Okay, let's see if I can smuggle my way to, to South Korea. Uh, those stupid North Korean gods, they won't prevent me from crossing the line to go to South Korea. Right? North Korea will never get to kill me. The only person that's gonna kill me is myself. <laughs> right, let's go. Whee! Alright. To the country with the high suicide rate. Let's go. Maybe I'll need a flashlight. Ooh, scary. North Korean flashlights are truly the best. Oh, there's a lamp. Who left it down there? All right. Is it time? Is it time, Lofo? And my two pet dinosaurs? Will I make it over? Oh! South Korea! Ah! Ah! No! So close, yet so, so far! No. I will keep going. I must go to South Korea! I must end myself there! To turn myself into a statistic! Uh, yoink! Yeah, let's go! South Korea, here I come! Hello, people! Hello, fellow citizens of South Korea! Oh, amazing cars! What? An Audi? Isn't isn't Audi like a German brand? That's such a weird short pick of cars, but whatever. I don't care. My mom had an Audi when we lived in Germany and I don't care. Alright, let's go. Oh, and charge straight first into a restaurant. Soul Fan Award. Soul, let's go. McDonald's! Give me McDonald's. Wait, oh my. Oh, that's that. Okay. Am I a huge dinosaur or is the store very small? Right. Hello? Hello, what can I serve? Uh. Chicken nuggets, please. How many? 20. Sorry, you don't have that much. Maybe 10? Sorry, you don't have that much. How many chicken nuggets do you have? Five? Why? Because they're rich. Okay. Because <laughs> we don't care about North Koreans. Bruh! <laughs> okay then. Chat ended because you didn't reply? Bruh! Okay. Well then. I'm gonna grab my food one way or the other. Give me my hamburgers, my fries. Oh, where's my chicken nuggets, huh? Pies. I could, I could totally go for a burger right now. Okay, skyscrapers. Okay, endless buildings. All right. It's time for a little photo to do the thing. All right. Just gotta go climb up the building like King Kong. Unfortunately, King Kong couldn't take the elevator because he was too big. I can't take the elevator because there is no elevator. King Kong and I are not the same. But you know what we both have in common? Is that how we're gonna end ourselves? <laughs> right, Lofo. 
It's time to fulfill my dreams and destiny and turn myself into a statistic. Whee! Oh, it seems like I have gained the trait immortality. Well then. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is, soul. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, just just got my car wedged between two a chunk of asphalt. Uh, yeah, just happens to the best of us, Lofo. Don't worry. Soul, soul, soul. Has anyone here been to Seoul? Yes, I have. Did you like it? No. I mean, I did. I'm not gonna lie. I did like it. What would you recommend? There's a natural history museum in Seoul that has Acrocanthosaurus in it. Pretty cool. Right. But now I think it is time for me for real to become a statistic. Geronimo! Hasta la vista, South Korea! <laughs> gotta, gotta make sure South Korea gets that crown, you know? That gold crown when it comes to suicide rates. <laughs> Right, I think it's getting really dark, right? It's, and it's our it's I mean it's it's 12 a.m. But it's you know, it's dark and, and the other term. Oh, Mr. Nutella What? Tell me tell me how to escape this Why won't you leave belong to government of DPRK? Just kidding. I want to stay here <laughs> You're good. You're a very good citizen. Okay. Well, goodbye. Mr. Nutella. I shall just go <laughs> Right, let's see what else we have. Right, we, we escaped from North Korea. We performed the Mr. Breast Challenge. And now, we also tried to win King Kong and Godzilla. We did, but the game sucked. And what's next? Let's see... Prehistory... Prehistory? There's six people active. Damn. See, like, why the hell would you play that, like, make shitty walking sim? Like, seven people are gonna play it. Okay. Right. What is Evolve? What the hell is this? It sounded like a dinosaur game, so hell yeah, Evolve, and I'm just looking at it, and I'm just... See, whatever the hell this is. Row bio experiment. This sounds like a game for furry enthusiasts. The Lost Island Survival. What is this? Okay, you had me at dinosaurs, but then why would the hell would you ride on a giraffe? Damn, talk about false advertising, my ass. Wait, there, there is a kaiju game. You guys said that kaiju games weren't there anymore. Well, what the hell is this then? Huh? There's a Kamehameha simulator. And why the hell does that not sound interesting at in the very slight fall? I I I hate how it says this game is based off the two 2022 movie Fall. I don't know what the movie is. I have never watched it. I only watch dinosaur movies. But why the hell is there a picture of the digit amazing digital circus? Like why do people even like the digital circus? Like, it looks like something for, made for a nine-year-old. Like, I appreciate the craftsmanship that went into it, but I don't, I don't know why there's such a, like, a huge fandom about it. The tower will collapse. Okay. Can I play? Beginner. And no trespassing. I don't care a magic carpet. I don't care, right? Okay, what? Well, I guess I just keep climbing? 
Right. Oh. 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 Okay. Shit. This. This is. This is very high, huh? So I guess I have to climb all the way up before actually dying. They like the digital circus because of Pomni. Why? Why the hell do people even find Pomni attractive? It's. It, isn't it literally just like a face? Like. I can kind of understand some people liking some, like, waifu characters and stuff. But for Pomni, isn't that literally just like a white face? Like, made in Blender. Like, there's no characteristic that people would say would make her attractive. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't, that's why you don't understand even people who, like, thirst for Pomni. <laughs> if I, if I say so, right? It's all because of the pee in the shitty ships. Ships? There's sh there's ships in Digital Circus? Jesus Christ. What kind of world we live in? <laughs> oh boy. All right, so what is this game now? I, I do I just keep climbing a tower? No, it's almost there. Okay, I thought I, I had to climb this thing forever. I can keep climbing. Okay, amazing. There it is! We won! We climbed a shitty tower! Praise the dinosaur god Octar or something, I don't know. I, 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 do I just, just farm coins here, up here? Is, is, is that what I'm here for? Oh no, I can keep climbing, okay, never mind. Every fandom is not complete without ships in R34. Oh my god. I don't know who Jax or Regatha even is. Why the hell do you know about it? Huh? Are you one of those people? Are you one of those Pomni Thirsters? Oh, what the hell? Well, that, that person just turned into a statistic. Unfortunately for him. It's it's just I just find it just hard to appreciate it, right? Like FNAF, like Digital Circus, uh, what was it, Huggy Wuggy, like all those things. Like I don't know why nine year olds are just fascinated by that. Uh, and like also yeah, Skibbity Do Riz thing. Yeah, I don't I don't like that either. <laughs> it's just something that I just can't understand, and I just decided to just, I guess. I. I, I guess I'm a fossil now, huh? I don't have that skibbity riz that people keep talking about. So. Oh, there goes that guy. I will keep climbing. Speed coil rope backpack. Morphs? There's freaking morphs? The hell is a... The hell is a cane? Watch out! Oh! Parachute! Oh my. So much for a nice vacation, huh? Oh, what the hell is going on with that person? Okay. It's a little Timmy's ignore them, their primitive instincts. <laughs> oh, I want the coin! Oh, shiny! Shiny! My precious! Oh! This, this, this went right through my ass. Right. Damn, this dialogue must have, must have had a big ass. <laughs> if, it's gonna, if, it, if it's gonna let a gold coin pass right, right through it. Wouldn't really want wish it upon anyone. Right. Oh, can I climb? Oh, let's go! <gasps> Hell yeah! 
I got a little bit of a speed advantage, but I'm not gonna spend 15 minutes climbing this shit all over again, so... I shall turn myself into a statistic. <laughs> First oof will also be my last. You oof your last oof. Right. Crazy cards. What is crazy cards? I ran over a baby. Ah, yeah, happens. Happens every now and then. Let's see. Let's see if I can run over a baby in this game, huh? Jot slow. The judge's choice. I know it's hard, but at least we have Michael Jackson. Huh? All I want for Christmas is... Uh, okay, two cards. I don't- I don't get how this game is played. I thought I just run over a baby in this game. Submission. Fire is a fire in the hole. Uh, a terrifying encounter. Crap. Everyone and everything. Incredibly grumpy cat. No, I'm not a fan of cats. I'm sorry. Uh, the bathroom. Hell yeah. I love the bathroom. Yummy sour cream. Ew, not sour cream. <laughs> right. Bathroom. I love bathroom. Is, is that how the game is played? All I want for Christmas is the bathroom. Fire. Okay, cart skin. There's cart skin? Lime orange, damn! I've always wanted a yellow card. Okay, pick a silly card. FBI, open up! You know we know you have uh uh chicken wings. That's a very specific number too. Let's see. You have Bing Bong? What the frick is a Bing Bong? Yeah, chicken wings, it's fire. A sheep! Yeah. A booga booga. What the hell even is a booga booga, man? Chicken nuggets shaped like a star. You should sell that on eBay. Taylor Swift! Oh my, that's, that's a crime! <laughs> Just took Taylor Swift. It's all for the Swifties out there. <laughs> One for the Swifties. We judge next. What is this? For Robux? No thanks. Oh my, it's it's Dwayne. Uh a rich Robuxian Johnson. I mean, I am right if you think about it. Dwayne, out of nug date chicken nuggets. What is this game obsession with chicken nuggets? Hot dog. An uncomfortable poop. Dwayne Frank Johnson. I kind of like Frank. <laughs> I think Frank is my favorite because it just sounds like normal. <laughs> Dwayne Frank Johnson. It's just like a regular name. I think Frank is my favorite. An uncomfortable poop, really? Bruh. These guys have the funny bone of a nine year old. <laughs> the, the Dwayne Rock, the Dwayne uh, Frank Johnson. That's just funny. Right. Depression! Recommended by 8 out of 10 dentists. That has to be a good card. That's what my dentist recommended me. Just get depression, you know? 
You will fit into society just well. Just need a def some sort of depression and some sort of mental issue and you're ready to go. A small child recommended by 8 out of 10 dentists. Damn. That must have been a very good behaving child. Volcano well, made out of spaghetti. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Right. Sleepwalking into a wall. You know, sweet sleepwalking into a wall kind of sounds something a dentist would recommend because, you know, you'll slam your face against the wall and that means you'll get more stuff. A lord and savior? What? Themes uh, for this year's party is get rich quick with this one with this one trick. Let's see. Okay, let's see what this is about. If this is bad, I'm leaving. Depression, my favorite toothpaste. <laughs> right. Accidentally setting the house on fire. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, there's insurance money. A tasty midnight feast. The only richness you'll get is with fat. Peeling an orange. Ah. That rich girl from school. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know what? I am gonna go with a good old insurance scam. Right, let's leave. Let's see if there's something else. Right, destroy a city. Bigfoot, tsunami game. Good old AI illustrated. Room escape cafe. What is this? Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, April Fools, dinosaur simulator. Oh wait, it's that game? Wait, there's 1,500 people playing this game. Wow. Isn't this like the old Roblox Dinosaur Simulator? Crossover egg. Dralivinator. Plush egg. Aww. Golden Egg, Golden Chilantisaurus, uh, what dinosaur can I play as? Let's see, I can play as T-Rex, wow, damn, <laughs> you, you get the T-Rex right from the beginning. Oh, that's the classic T-Rex? Oh, okay, so I guess they, they remodeled all the dinosaurs, huh? Wait, Yondosaurus? Wait, that's not the classic Yondosaurus? Limited Albino Terror. That's just the Indominus Rex. Oh, look how many dinosaurs there are. And then, 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 then there's this. Why? Why? I don't know. Uh, let's See. Ooh. I mean, there is also a beetle here, so I guess. Insects and dinosaurs, am I right, folks? Right, let's play as uh, Triceratops. You know what? Let's play as a dot Triceratops. Right. Let's go. I am not just Triceratops, I am DA Triceratops. Right, Sukumimus has been added in. Amazing. Hey. Oi. Okay. Do I eat these yellow stuff? I, I can't move up. I'm I'm like stuck here, right? I don't I love sliding around underground.
How is this game still alive? I don't know, considering this game looks... Oh, there's some someone here. It's a giant dinosaur. I think I'm drowning. QE to swim up and down. Okay, there we go. Hello, big dinosaur! I've come to bargain! Where'd the big dinosaur go? Inlet. There's a big dinosaur! I wonder if these are edible. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know, I don't seem to be getting any hunger, but I'm, I don't think I have hunger. Oh, there's something in the water! Oh, oh, I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Oh my! I love how we just jump up like a dolphin. Whee! Right, fellow Acrocanthosaurus. Time for you to meet your end. Why is he not doing anything? He's just... I I'm riding on it! Oh wait, is this like AI? Wait, does this game have AI dinosaurs? No way, right? This, this is a player, right? It's an Acrocanthosaurus, he's almost dead. He's got 101 health left. Twelve, twenty-two. One more. We got him. There he is. Yeah, you guys can barely see him, but yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, AI dinosaurs! Why would you not have AI dinosaurs? This is amazing. You look, how, look how alive the ecosystem looks like, huh? Why would you not have this? Are you guys stupid? Right, Redwoods. Can I eat these flowers? Pretty getting hungry after killing a fully grown Acrocanthosaurus. Oh yes, I do get to eat them. Ah, oh, I can hide under the log. Would make it for a very interesting video. If there there's gonna be anyone nearby. How many people even are there? Oh, there's like, there's like eight people on the server. Wow. Okay, that that's kind of sad though. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I am gonna be ending this video today. Hey, I think that's it for today. Any a anyone got any other suggestions what we should play? If not, I think I'll probably end this video here, so... Right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If I'm don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, may the Jurassic Sprint with you. Bye-bye! Woohoo! Have a nice day, everyone!